on this episode of Blonde Stars, Big Mo Talks Mulch. Welcome to the Lawn Stars, guys and gals. As you can see, we picked up uh, four yards of black mulch. And we are trying to finish this job, man. It's this hotel right here that, uh, that we mow. We've been working on this mulching for a while now. Because we've had... We had a, a big trailer, um, another trailer full of, of mine there. We've had two dump truck loads dumped here, <laughs> and it's just taken a lot, you know. And it's kind of deceiving because you wouldn't think it, but it's all these little areas just everywhere, you know. And plus, you know, there's some big big areas around the hotel um don't know don't think this will finish it i i know this won't finish it um but we got the four yards there uh you could tell where we stopped on this side you know uh kind of like right here and then we gotta do we gotta do this we have to do this over to that corner right there. You can you can kind of see where we stopped. Uh, we got this and the trees out there. There, so not a good likelihood that we're going to get it with <laughs> all that with the uh, four measly yards. But I could put right here how much we've used so far. I'll put the number right here because I don't know it off the top of my head. But that's how much we've used counting this four. Counting this four yards I have on the trailer. This is how much we've used so far. And we'll see if that cuts it. You know. Um, we've just had a lot of work to do in between here and stuff. So we haven't been able to finish this thing. I hope we can get it finished soon uh, and this is really hard to record that's why i have a little bit of uh, footage of us uh recording in the front that i try where i tried to record i don't know if i'll even use that but uh if i i may put it in there somewhere uh also you know, I'll try to record this, like I said today, but I don't know how that's going to go. It's hard to record this stuff because it's so broken up and, you know, like I said, behind the bushes here and all that. So, I don't know. But uh, let's do it, and then we'll talk afterwards. See you then. Taking it, I'm taking pieces home 
And you could say I'm far beyond control As of late, it's substance to my soul Okay, obviously, as I suspected, uh, it's taken more than four yards to finish it. Uh, we haven't cleaned up, obviously, because we're not done. I think what I'm gonna do, is I think we're gonna run to uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, which is right up the road here, and see if I can get some bags. See if I can calculate how many bags I need if they have any black mulch 
because uh, the mulch place is not nearby. It's like uh, 40 minutes away from here. So I'm going to try to see how many it's going to take and we'll see. I can always go back and get more. So I'll probably underestimate a little bit or try to, you know, try to get it as close as I can. But let's go get some mulch bags and then we'll try to finish this doo-doo up. So scratch that idea. Checked on the prices of the bags of black mulch and it was like $4 plus a bag. And no way am I paying that. So I will just wait until another day when we can go and get another uh, whatever, maybe four more yards and that'll definitely do it. So it will not get completed today, but soon, soon, yes. Um, let's go to the next segment now, like right now. So here we are back at the hotel now and we're just gonna finish cleaning this mulch off. And, but before we go to something else and uh, send you away from the old hotel, um, I want to just maybe impart a little knowledge to people that uh, are new to the new to the biz and uh, to show you kind of the essentials that you need to do a mulch job. Now you can always add subtract to it. If you're a big huge company of course and you and you have a lot of mulch jobs all the time you know you could have a bobcat or or whatever you know there's many things you can add to this this is the bare bones okay uh i would say get you a good hard rake just get you a really solid good hard rake get you uh, uh and you can double up on these you know if you have a couple of people working get you a couple of these good pitchforks good wide ones not the not the little narrow ones but get get you a good wide one like that get you a couple of those get you a snow shovel that helps tremendously cleaning up or getting the remnants of what's left uh from the piles or or what what have you and i can't sing the praises enough of these solid wheeled wheelbarrows um they're just i wouldn't have personally i wouldn't have an inflatable one with inflatable tires again because it, it never fails it just seems like they're always going flat or right when you uh take them out to use them you know you have to air them up or whatever and these solid wheels are the are the bomb man I really like these and these have been holding up great these little uh cobalts you know that we bought for big moss job a couple of seasons ago but uh, anyway that's kind of the bare bones you know get you a tarp you know if you're going to be carrying it on uh um your trailer you don't want to put it in just the uh just the uh sorry somebody is pulled up there and I wonder what they were doing uh, you don't want to put it on the bare wood of the trailer you know because you're just gonna make a heck of a mess and that way when you get down to a certain level uh, where it gets light enough you can just pull the tarp off of the trailer and, and kind of dump it over into a bed so like we did on this one uh, but yeah okay that's about all I have to say about this and mulching. Mulching is hmm, not one of my favorite things to do, but you know, it's a necessity. People want it done. Let's go do something else now. I'm sick of mulch. Let's do it. They're coming for us. I hear them. There they are. And something before we go, I want to leave you with this parting uh, gift of sorts. I'm so glad we had this time together just to have a laugh 
or sing a song. Seems we just get started and before you know it, comes the time we have to say, so long.